Two years ago, Corbin Raymond was enjoying life with his friends. We were driving down River Road in Panacook, and my buddy was driving a little bit fast. I mean, we were teenage boys, it's what we do. The driver ended up crashing into a tree. Well, my cousin, who was like my best friend, saved me because I was bleeding out and I was choking on it so that he held my throat up so I could breathe. He was flown to Boston Children's Hospital with a traumatic brain injury. His family was told he would not survive. I couldn't walk, couldn't talk, couldn't, couldn't really do much. I had tubes in and out of me everywhere, machines hooked up to me. Corbin was in a hospital bed for two months. I was told to say goodbye to Corbin and I just wasn't going to let that happen and I just stayed positive the whole time and I think that's really important. He was admitted to Spalding Rehabilitation Center to learn to walk, talk and regain his strength. Corbin's mom, Sadie, posted about his progress on a site called The Caring Bridge. You can just post the link and people can get um, emails and things like that with your updates. So by the end, I think we had um, over 350,000 views. When they arrived home in November of 2018, she started turning those stories into a book. I had to relive it all again. I would read the posts and then I would, you know, I would take the posts and incorporate everything else that was going on that I wasn't putting in the posts. I thought by writing this and putting it out there, that that could be the inspiration for other people that they would need to get through these type of situations that we were in. The book is called 121 Days, the amount of time Corbin spent recovering, something he continues to do each day. Watching him progress every day has been great, and he continues to keep getting better every day. Sadie and Corbin hope the book teaches others to never give up. It was one of a hundred, one of a million, and you always have a chance. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.